Hey people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Georg. Today I would like to share with you a few tricks I use to make a fast and nice looking hero images. I have prepared an example page, it has a header with a navigation and a background image. Now let's start by adding a headline on this big hero image. We add a div with full width and full height. Inside this div, we'll make it a flex box and we'll say div your next big adventure. And let's add one subheader which will be see the world in on your terms, for example. You can see that those are now above the image. Let's fix this. Let's make the diff position relative and let's make this absolute with top zero and left zero. Now, let's make those a little bit better ordered. We'll say justify center and we'll say items center and we can add the flex code so they're right under each other. Let's make this text a little big. Let's say for example text for Excel font bold and let's take a white text text white. The other text let's make it text large and text white. And let's see why this is not in the center. It looks like we have a typo on the full. Yeah, now we have a text in the center. It's white. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. 6XL and this let's be 2XL. With hero images, the truth is that no matter what text cover you choose, it won't work and it won't do good. That's because the images have a very dynamic colors. Some areas are white, some areas are dark. To solve this problem with Taiwan CSS, I like to do a color for overlay. The first thing is I need to pick a color. I do this by using tint. Tint is a color picker that will give you the closest color available in Taiwan CSS. So in this case, I'll probably choose something like Boo 800. Now, let's add the overlay. I'll add diff class with full and hate full. I uh, will add it the background of Boo 800 and I will add top 0, left 0 and position absolute. You can see now we have a Boo overlay and now let's just add some opacity to it. Opacity for example 60, maybe 50. We can just play with the number of opacity in order to make the image look good. So maybe something like 60 in this case is a little bit too much, so maybe even 40 will work. As you can see, now we have a colorful overlay that make, make our text have a better readability. Another approach I take is sometimes I add a gradient instead of a single color overlay. I will remove the current gradient and I'll add an image, let's say this one. See, the text is still not readable at all. Let's add again the overlay. And let's use tint again to see what colors we can pick. Um, it seems like a lot of the color is amber, so I'll choose something like amber. I'll do first gradient. We'll do background gradient to bottom right. We we'll say from amber 600 via, for example, yellow 500. And now if we add some opacity, for example 70, we will see our image is having now a gradient overlay and it makes the text with better readability. We can always play with different colors and different opacity levels to make our images work the way that we want. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post the next video. See you next time.